Pre-conquest, some of the indigenous peoples of what is today Mexico had decision-making structures based on participation, discussion, and consensus, hallmarks of modern anarchism. Today, indigenous community assemblies and collective decision-making inform some Mexican social movements of the left and below, such as the Zapatista Army of National Liberation, and these practices have a large influence both on Mexican anarchism and anarchists in the United States and internationally. Beginnings In 1824, the utopian socialist Robert Owen unsuccessfully tried to acquire a district of 50 leagues to develop a colony in the Mexican provinces of Coahuila and Texas along the same principles set forth in New Harmony. His request was eventually denied by the Mexican government. In 1861 the Greek Platino Rodokoniti tried to implement the ideas of Fourier and Proudhon during the administration of President Comonfort. He published Cartilla Socialista a manual explaining the ideas of Fourier. Some of his adepts like Francisco Zalacosta, Santiago Villanueva, and Hermenegildo Villavicencio, became the first workers' rights activists in Mexico. Other students of Rodokoniti founded a school called La Social, Session Internacionalista. Following Bakunin. These activists organized one of the first mutualist societies in Mexico. Mutualism is the preferred term for anarchism by the Mexican authorities. <inaudible> Mexican Revolution Around 1882 another anarchist group was founded by the brothers Enrique and Ricardo Flores Magan. They published the newspaper Regeneración in 1901. Their movement is oft cited as a precedent for the Mexican Revolution of 1910. Other famous leaders of the Maganista movement were Praxtis Guerrero, Camilo Arriaga, Juan Sarabia, Antonio Díaz Soto y Gama and Labrado Rivera. Anselmo L. Figueroa was a Mexican-American anarchist political figure, journalist and member of the Organizing Council of the Mexican Liberal Party MLP. He was imprisoned in the United States between 1911 and 1914 due to violations of U.S. neutrality laws. He published Regeneración, the official newspaper of the MLP, before and after his imprisonment. At the time of the uprisings, Regeneración generated about $1,000 per week in subscription fees. Even after covering its publication costs, several hundred dollars per week were made available for MLP revolutionary causes. Smaller sums of money were received from outside donors to the organization. Regeneración was published until 1918. It was distributed in Mexican communities in the United States and used in literacy lessons there, as books were often scarce. Juana Belén Gutiérrez de Mendoza was an anarchist and feminist activist, typographer, journalist and poet born in San Juan del Rio, Durango, Mexico. While many women contributed in the Mexican Revolution 1910-1920 by fighting alongside their husbands, others wrote against the injustices of the Diaz regime. In May 1901 she found an anti-Diaz newspaper called Vesper. She attacked the clergy in Guanajuato and wrote against foreign domination in Mexico. She also wrote against the Diaz regime and criticized Diaz for not carrying out the requests and needs of the people. As a result, her newspaper was confiscated and she was also put in jail several times by Diaz between 1904 and 1920. She established a new newspaper called El Desmonte and continued her writings. She translated the works of Peter Kropotkin, Mikhail Bakunin, and Pierre-Joseph Proudhon to Spanish. She was also a Caxcan Indian from the state of Durango. Confederación General de Trabajadores and Foreign Anarchist Exiles in Mexico The Confederación General de Trabajadores General Confederation of Workers, CGT, was a federation of labor unions in Mexico. It was founded in February 1921 by anarchists, syndicalists and others on the far left who opposed the more moderate, pro-government Confederación Regional Obrera Mexicana CROM. In particular, the founders of the CGT criticized the CROM's close relationship with the Conservative American Federation of Labor AFL. Briefly after its formation, the CGT allied with the Mexican Communist Party PCM, but disputes ended the relationship almost immediately. In the decades that followed, the CGT became increasingly anti-communist. 
The CGT remained far smaller than the CROM, and by the 1930s both federations were dwarfed by the Confederation of Mexican Workers CTM. Russian anarchist exiles Molly Steimer settled in Cuernavaca with Senya Fleshin, her lifelong companion, where they ran a photographic studio. They continued to advocate anarchist ideals and correspond with various comrades around the world. In 1938, at the beginning of the German economic crisis and the rise of Nazism and fascism in Europe, the German individualist anarchist philosopher Horst Matthai Kell moved to Mexico. There, he began studying philosophy at the National Autonomous University of Mexico where he took classes with writer Carlos Monsivay and philosophers Leopoldo Z and Emilio Aranga. Kell earned his undergraduate degree, master's and doctorate in philosophy at the National Autonomous University of Mexico, where he returned as a professor of philosophy in the 1980s. He also taught at the Universidad Iberoamericana and since 1986, the Universidad Autónoma de Baja California. The Mexican Anarchist Federation The Mexican Anarchist Federation SP, Federación Anarquista Mexicana was a Mexican anarchist organization that existed from December 28, 1945 until the 1970s. It appeared as the Anarchist Federation of the Center joined with the Anarchist Federation of the Federal District. It published the periodical Regeneración. It received the energy of recent Spanish anarchists who sought refuge in Mexico escaping from Francisco Franco's dictatorship. Shortly after its establishment, it gained the attention of the Mexican police forces and the Mexican government after some Spanish exiled anarchists, along with members of the Mexican Anarchist Federation, were arrested after trying to rob a truck that carried large amounts of money from a beer industry. Also linked to the Mexican Anarchist Federation was the Libertarian Youth SP, Juventudes Libertarias and the publication Tierra y Libertad. Topic. Present day These attempts at revolution started the anarchist movement in Mexico, which eventually fused with the Mexican Communist Party, which was outlawed during the height of the Cold War. Remnants of these organizations survive as part of the Fente Popular Francisco Villa which is in urban areas. Formed in 1997, the Popular Indigenous Council of Oaxaca, Ricardo Flores Magan, Cipo RFM, is a grassroots organization based on the philosophy of Ricardo Magan. The Mexican Anarchist Federation SP, Federación Anarquista de México exists today and is active as of April 2017. The Mexican Anarchist Federation is a member of the International of Anarchist Federations. Its partner organization, Anarcho-Syndicalist Union (SP), Union Anarcho-Syndicalista, also is active as of April 2017. Topic. See also. Emiliano Zapata. Ricardo Flores Magan. Maganism. References External links Anarchism in Mexico. Spunk Library. Insurrectionary Anarchism in Mexico.